Now, Fushiki Yugi was a great adventure about two young girls who became the priestess of Suzaku and Seriyu. But were there other priestesses? Iwatase takes us back to the story of the very first priestess in Fushiki Yugi Genbu Kaiden. Takiko Okuda is a girl who is sad, lonely, and unpopular at school. Her mother is sick and dying, the man she loves is married to someone else, and her father spends months away from home. However, on the day her mother dies and her father brings home an odd book called The Universe of the Four Gods, Takiko is pulled into the book and discovers herself to be the priestess of Genbu, in a time when she is not welcome. Just like Miyaka, she is told to gather the seven warriors in order to summon the god and have her wishes granted, and once again has to deal with the asshole Seriyu country. What's with those jerks? But when it comes to storytelling, this one is a vast improvement compared to the mysterious play. You know that Takiko will summon Genbu, but you don't know how. With the Genbu kingdom seeing the priestess as a dark omen and the Seriyu army down their backs? You want to keep reading and find out how the hell did this girl do it? Come armies, come illness, and come snow. Takiko proves in this story that she has to be the best priestess to summon a god compared to Miyaka and Yui. For the warnings! I only have one tiny problem. Why could Uruki bend his gender? I mean, seriously, what was up with that? Were we going with a Yuri moment or something? No, no Yuri moments here. Was it relevant to the plot? Well, he did meet Takiko that way, and that tricked her into bed with him. Hilarity's there. And then there was that one moment when they had to sneak into a harlot to find a Genbu warrior. Okay, so maybe it had a few slight plot moments. Was the star Uruki supposed to represent a bi-gendered spirit, thus given the embodiment of the star a transgendered ability? Hold on, I gotta look this up. I love some Monty Python. Well, apparently his star means woman. Well, every priestess, I guess, needs a man to fall in love with, and even though there are three other guys she could have fawned over, Watase probably intended on Uruki to be a man. A man who can thrash the winds and have a gender-bending power as well. And service. That aside, he is a great character and a great man for Takiko to love. Now with Genbu Kaiden done, Yuatase has announced that she will finish the epic by telling the story of the priestess of Byako, and her name is Suzuno. I have been dying to see this story ever since Miyaka met the Byako warriors. The scene alone where Tatara and Suzuno are reunited in the anime just brings me to tears every time I see it. And now, I will finally get the chance to see it from the very beginning. I can't wait to read it with Tase-san, but until then, you guys should really check out this story. If you want to see how the first priestess summoned Genbu, read Fushigi Yugi Genbu Kaiden. For more updates on Anime America, just go to our Facebook page and like us. If you wish to support our production by purchasing some merchandise, just go to cafepress.com slash Anime America Podcast. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to Anime America!